Vegetarian's Delight, coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich, and this pot is the most incredible vegan vegetable curry you've yet to make, but once you make it, you will be astounded by the fantastic flavors. Family came in from out of town last night. We had two bowls. I mean three bowls for dinner. It is that good. It's also served with a beautiful roasted spaghetti squash. Fantastic. Let's start with that spaghetti squash. I'm turning the oven on to 375 degrees. I have a spaghetti squash, big sharp knife, draw it through half of the center, flip it around. The other half, it divides into two. We're taking a spoon, we're gonna hollow out those seeds and discard them. And then only a couple things to make this squash so tasty. A little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, a sprinkle of kosher salt, a sprinkle of fresh ground black pepper. We're inverting our two halves of the spaghetti squash onto a parchment lined baking sheet and we're gonna place it into the oven to roast for exactly one hour. While our squash roasts for the hour, a couple more things we can do. We're taking two cups of a tomato puree, also adding one cup of coconut milk. Interesting combination, really great flavor profile. I'm taking an immersion blender. I'm just gonna zip that for a few moments to get rid of that coconut clump. We're placing our tomato coconut milk mixture to the side. One of the hallmarks of this curry recipe is the spice blend, and boy, does this blend ever deliver. It begins with one teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of ground coriander, a teaspoon of ground cumin, and then a curry powder blend. And then I'm adding in half a teaspoon each, turmeric, cayenne pepper, and ground cloves. Those ingredients into a bowl, we'll stir them together and place them to the side. Here's a photograph of all of the vegetable ingredients for this recipe. You're gonna to need to chop a little bit. For the full recipe and ingredients and quantities, head to weekendatthecottage.com when you're visiting our website and looking at that recipe. Don't forget to subscribe. Once you have all your vegetables prepped, we're gonna continue with the preparation of this spectacular curry recipe. Over at stove top, medium high heat, I have a large Dutch oven. We're going to add two tablespoons of coconut oil as soon as our coconut oil melts, we're adding half of a sweet white onion, very finely diced. What would curry be without a hit of garlic? Three cloves of finely diced garlic. I'd like you to take two inches of ginger. We're gonna finely grate it, add that in as well. Things are starting to smell fantastic. Now we get to add some heat complements of a green Thai pepper. These little chilies are very hot. I like to trim away the seeds, very finely dice them. They go into this pot. We're gonna stir those ingredients until they're nice and soft. And now we add our firm vegetables. Two potatoes, one sweet, one russet, peeled and finely cubed into the pot. I have half of a head of cauliflower trimmed into florets. Three carrots peeled and finely diced. Stir everything together. We're gonna to cover and cook for 10 minutes. At that 10 minute mark, sprinkle your spices on top, bend over the pot, get a great whiff of everything. Now comes that tomato and coconut mixture. Pour your liquid, stir everything together. We're gonna to cover and we're gonna cook for 10 minutes. During that 10 minutes, this liquid is gonna to come to temperature. 10 minute mark, lid comes off. You can see it bubbling, reducing our heat to simmer. And now we're gonna add the final few fresh vegetable ingredients. One field tomato, seeds are gone, finely chopped, how about a zucchini trimmed off the ends? I diced that as well. Add one can of chickpeas. We're gonna stir everything together. Take a spoon, do a taste. I added about two teaspoons of kosher salt. Stir again. We're gonna cover and cook for 20 minutes. Now when the lid comes off, you can see the vegetables are perfectly softened. We're gonna bring this dish home. Last three ingredients. How about the juice from one lime, pour it in. Three scallions, roughly chopped, they go in. And then a real flavor boost of two tablespoons, add a bit more if you wish, freshly chopped cilantro, that goes in. Stir everything together. Last little taste test, take a spoon, try, do you need a little bit more salt? Cover your pot, 
your spaghetti squash is ready, take it out of the oven, invert them. You can see this gorgeous flesh. I'm taking a fork and as I draw it across that flesh, it comes out and yes, it does look like spaghetti. We're transferring it into a bowl and now we're gonna head to table. We're taking beautiful flat soup plates. We're adding a little bit of our spaghetti squash. Lift the lid off of this pot, ladle goes in and now you start to spoon this on top of that spaghetti squash. How fantastic, go back, make sure you've got a little bit of everything, some of that cauliflower, a little bit more, and then go back for some juice. We're gonna add a little bit of the juice of this curry on top. Yes, I'd like you to garnish with a little sprinkle of chopped scallion, yes to the chopped cilantro, and you're ready to enjoy. When you are ready to enjoy, you have a beautiful bowl filled with this very flavorful curry. I can take a bit of that squash, I have a bit of this curry, Mm -hmm. mm. Really, really delicious. I say that as I'm preparing to eat bowl number four. I think the same thing is gonna to happen to you when you make our beautiful vegan vegetarian curry. After that, please remember, head to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our videos, click for notifications, drop us comments, thumbs up please. And then finally, look for us on one or more of your favorite social media platforms using hashtag weekend at the cottage on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Calling all vegetarians, calling everyone looking for a tasty meal. Well, that's all of you out there. You better get going. This meal is ready to be enjoyed. Thanks a lot for watching. Come on back and visit again soon. Take care.